Here's the plan. Here's what I'm thinking foot. I was thinking of a 10 by 10, but I think what we'll do is it'll probably be more like 10 by nine ish. I have five pieces of uh, PVC. I was thinking of doing one on the ends, of course. I think maybe three foot's the best uh, three foot spread in between the PVCs. So let's get started. What I'm using here is just a two hole strap, a uh, rigid two hole strap. It's a little small for the three quarter inch PVC, but that uh, gives it a good tight uh, snug, gives a good hug. And then uh, for screws, I just seem to have a lot of these um, Simpson strong drive screws. They do have some good meat on them and they, they grab the wood pretty well. That's one reason why I use them. On this edge here, I'm coming off a little bit. I'm not overthinking this thing too much. Got to go to the market and get some materials. Two one by threes, uh, actually four of them, and ripped one of them down. I think you'll see what my plan is as we get going, so let me get to it. Notice that I'm starting these brackets way down here at the frame of it. The purpose of that is uh, it's a lot easier to set these brackets, and also as I move this up to the height that I want it, it will basically be where it should be because we're lining up down here where it's good. Let's take a minute and talk about plastic. This here is a uh, six mil greenhouse plastic. Um, I just want to say don't go to your your depot of homes or your hardware store and just get some normal six mil plastic it will not last the year you'll have pieces of plastic all throughout your property um, yeah greenhouse plastic is what you want uh, this stuff's good for about four years they also sell uh, plastic that's kind of like a weave like a tarp and that'll last much longer um, i've seen this stuff last longer than four years most of the time Okay, there we have it. We got that side put on. Uh, that's an easy part because you could just set it. This side is a little tougher because you need to pull down while you're doing it. It's probably easier with two. I'll give it a try by myself. There we have it, quick and dirty mobile greenhouse. Uh, what, is, what do I got into it so far? Uh, about seven hours of labor, including filming it. Um, Cost-wise, about 200 to 250 bucks where I live, Northern California, everything's more expensive here. That includes PVC pipe, the one-by material for holding the plastic, the metal brackets, 
the two wheel straps and uh, the plastic. The plastic was the big ticket item. Uh, 160 bucks for a 48 by 20 foot section of it. I only used half of it for this. So uh, technically I could do another one with it. So I'm figuring about 80 bucks for plastic. A uh, couple creature comforts that we added. I did two handles on either side so we could pick it up and move it around easily. On the corners here, I added a strap to give it some rigidity over time. And roll-ups, I did some pipe with the clips to roll up the sides along with a old copper wire and a screw to hold it up. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty satisfied. We'll see how it does. Oh, and then for the door, just uh, some clamps and uh, plastic. I did just plastic end walls rather than building them out for weight and time. Like I said, I'm trying not to overdo this thing is something I tend to do, <laughs> but I'm pretty satisfied. Next up, I got a transplant so I can start putting plants in here. So that's all I got to say about that. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.